you are already famous, but uh, do you think you are ready to become <laughs> truly superstar after these movies? You don't really set out to do a job to get famous. Uh, you just want to do the best you can, so I don't know. What new brings Aquaman in the mythology of superheroes in the movies? I think a little bit of me, you know, that's uh, what Zach hired me to do is bring a little bit of my uh, swagger to this character and uh, he saw something that I didn't and then you um, try to, I think it was fun to, you know, put a little humor and, and spin on, on that character. At, uh, which was uh, the most difficult scene in the movie for you? Uh, as an actor, um, definitely with Nicole Kidman for the scene where uh, I see my mother for the first time because it's like seeing your mother for the first time. Like, what would that be like? You know, just putting your, just putting your. Don't you think uh, that there are already uh, too many superheroes in the movies? Well, I mean, I guess the great thing is, is you just don't have to go and watch that movie if you don't want to see it. I think uh, there's something for everyone, and, you know, I haven't seen a Spider-Man in a very long time, and if I wanted to go, I could watch a couple different versions, and you just don't have to go and watch it. From uh, Game of Thrones to Aquaman, it's a very long distance, but uh, do you find any common symbols in these two works, expect, expect for you, of course. Nothing for me, but I, you know, so, uh, a reporter brought it up earlier about, you know, the competition for the throne, which is obviously about Game of Thrones, too. So there are things I guess you could associate the two, but um, for myself, two different characters. Did you know Aquaman before this movie? No. No. Well, I mean, I knew of him, but like everyone else, he was pretty, uh, you know, everyone kind of made fun of him, so.